I think that there was a if there was a breathing, almost like him breathing, that there's kind of this very slow kind of tide coming in, going away. Marco Beltrami's doing the score, and Jim's worked with him a number of times as have I. In score, the big effort is to not let go of the feeling that this movie is different. Okay, here we go. I don't want that big heroic score. I don't want trumpets for the good guys and dark bass for the bad guys. I want us to find a new formula. When I first heard that it's a Wolverine movie, it brought to mind certain expectations. But then knowing that Jim was on it, I had different expectations because Jim definitely twists things. The foundational language of the film is emotion, and the score will have the challenge of serving that to some degree first, but also in concert with the scale and scope of this character, the scale of this journey, the sense of jeopardy and the sense of risk and intensity of the action sequences. For Marco and I, the job becomes looking toward the Western, looking toward older action films, 70s cop movies. How do you solve the problems of building stakes, transitioning scenes, and doing that without trying to kind of bloat the movie and stay true to the kind of intimacy of the journey these characters have been on? Jim referenced Taxi Driver and a couple Jerry Fielding scores from the 70s. He wanted that gritty, unmanipulated, unrounded sound of a tighter ensemble that didn't necessarily have to be Hollywood or orchestral in nature. When we actually tried putting some period scores to the thing, it, it looked off. It had to be modern as well. So the idea is to go for that intensity of 70s score, but with more modern scoring techniques. It's not a very melodic score. It's more of a textural thing, recording stuff with carbon microphones. It filters out a lot of the warmth and tonal characteristics and gives more of a gritty sound. This is who I've been telling you about. This is Laura. We've been waiting for you. There are some themes in it that might not be melodic themes in the way that he used to. We have Laura's theme, which is also sort of the mystery because we don't really know who she is. There's a theme for Logan, which is based on a lot of sonic stuff, but also this harmonica thing. We have two kinds, real standard German-made harmonicas and also glass harmonicas. Sometimes it's blended with other instruments and it becomes more of a texture. Sometimes it's even just the breath effect through the harmonica, and sometimes it's used as a melodic instrument. Go get him. There's also a theme for the bad guys, which is a, a textural bending thing, which is a lower range. That's better. I think we can do even a little bit more bending as we, as we exit. of each scene is different. The smelting plant action scene is a completely different feel from the Logan fighting X-24. <laughs> which is much more of a conceptual thing than like a chase scene, which has similarities to, but is different from like the farmhouse murder scene, which has almost like some horrific elements to it. Put it down. They're all based on similar ideas, but go in different directions. One. Two. The composer has to find a way to bring together all those different ideas, but in this case, I do think you'll find it feels different. It's trying to find that kind of alchemy of the sound that somehow just doesn't feel been there, done that and also doesn't signal for the audience that you're watching just another one of these movies.